quit air rolling like this. Today, we're covering a super common air roll mistake that I see players making all throughout the middle ranks of Rocket League. Here's what not to do. When flying for the ball, I see tons of people continuously tornado spin with no real purpose. The problem is always holding down tornado spin and air roll can actually make it so that you're boosting away from the ball rather than on a straight line. Not only that, but constantly air rolling is going to make it more challenging to get accurate touches on the ball. Yeah, it looks cool, but unless you're already GC3+, plus, it's probably just going to make you rubber ducky your shots. Instead, use tornado spin and air roll adjustments as much as you need to to get in line with the ball. And honestly, once you have your line, it's better to just let go of air roll rather than keep going. This is something that I heard RLCS coach Curtis stress a ton to a player in my coaching program last week. I can give you some links to players like Monkey Moon. He does the basic zero air roll type of air dribble. Two touches. First touch is to force opponent to commit off the wall. And the moment he commits, he gets another touch. But you know, it looks like silver one. In reality, number one player in 2v2. Because they make it so simple that there's no place to mess it up. That's what consistency is. So doing less is doing more. One notable exception is if you're going for multiple touches, holding air roll can help reduce knockback midair. But most times, tornado spinning all the way through is not the way to go. Nice shot! Try tornado spinning just a little less, and I can almost guarantee you your shots are going to get more accurate and more powerful in ranked. Also, if you're interested in coaching, my program is on pace to sell out within the next two weeks. So if you're 18 plus years old and are on the fence, this is the last call. DM me with the keyword now on Discord to get in before we sell out. Thanks for watching.